everyone, it's Jen Lucas. Welcome back to Yarn Purpose. Today, let's try the Lazarus Blocking Wire Set. Hey everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Yarn Purpose. Today, I have another new product to try. This is the Lazarus uh, Blocking Wire Set. It's a super flexible knitting blocking wire deluxe set. So I was sent these to try. I obviously, I knit a lot of shawls, so we're gonna go ahead and give them a try. Um, so it comes packaged in this little cute little like plastic bag here. And on the inside, you have some blocking pins. They're just the T pins that you see everywhere for blocking. And then it comes with two different size of the flexible wires here. So inside this little, um, this little piece of paper here kind of tells us some information. So um, the block, the deluxe blocking wire set contains 10 blocking wires that are 35 inches long or 90 centimeters, and then five blocking wires that are 70 inches long, 180 centimeters, and then 60 of those nickel plated T pins. Um, so basically the point of these is that they're flexible so you could sort of mold your piece however you want. So with shawl knitting, that's very important because, um, you know, we're not always knitting um, shawls with a straight edge. Um, you'll see, I'm gonna insert a clip in a few minutes. Um, I re-blocked this shawl. This is the Glara shawl from my book, Stunning Stitches. Um, it had been out at a trunk show for over a year, so it needed kind of a good wash anyway. Um, so I used it as an opportunity to try these needles. Um, or these blocking wires, I mean. So like I said, they come packaged like this. These I think are the 35 inch ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uncoil some for you. It does say in the instructions to uncoil them carefully. So we wanna, we don't wanna poke an eye out, right? <laughs> okay, so they're kind of attached with these um, like twist ties. So I'm just gonna go ahead and carefully take these off just so we can get a better look. Okay, so I have the uh, little twist ties off. So now I'm just going to carefully unravel this, which you can see these are under tension, so they're gonna want to naturally spring open, so you do wanna be careful. Here, you can, you can see how, um, how much under tension they were. So you can see they're these very, very thin wires, but they're extremely bendable. So this is the 35 inch length here. So the next thing to do, obviously, is to try using them. Um, I used two of the 70 inch length uh, blocking wires to block my glare shawl here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to that video and then I'll be back to sort of tell you my final thoughts.
so you can see, I mean, I sped up the video, but you can see that, um, you know, they were pretty easy to use. Um, the number one thing is, yes, they do. Um, you do have to be careful because they are so springy. That is just one thing that I feel like I have to say repeatedly is they're very springy. So you do want to be um, careful just as you're uncoiling them and moving them around. I found them extremely easy to adjust. I'm coming from a place where, to be perfectly honest, I have been only using straight blocking wires for the entire time that I've been knitting. I mean, granted now my straight blocking wires have some bends in them from over the years from trying to block shawls, um, but I've been using pretty rigid um, straight blocking wires to block my shawls. So I really loved the flexibility of these blocking wires. Um, I found them extremely easy to use and sort of to readjust my shawl as you go. That's like one thing with blocking shawls that I'm always telling people that it's not about just block it and leave it, that sometimes you do need to go and, you know, sort of readjust something over here and then readjust something over there. So, you know, just to sort of get it to be the shape that you want. And I found um, these extremely easy to use. Um, the one thing I will say is because they are so thin, here, let me pull this one back out. Because they are so thin, where I was struggling a little bit was um, putting it through my piece and almost having it just pull a, like, pull a stitch out, almost like elongate a stitch and pull it out versus pulling the whole fabric out. So that's just something to be aware of. And I'm sure as I use these more, that's just something that will become easier to make sure that you're getting it into the fabric just right so that when you pull it out, you're actually pulling out the fabric versus just like pulling out this like one stitch that ends up looking kind of wonky. Um, but again, I think that with time, um, you know, these will be super simple to use. That's just one of those things that's just going to take a little bit of practice. Um, and I'm definitely going to use these upcoming for, um, you know, future shawls that I'm knitting just to sort of see how they hold up over time. Um, for my first experience, they were great. Um, you know, but I'll definitely keep you updated as I use them more if, um, you know, if I think that they're holding up well over time, because that's the most important thing, right, is that they're going to hold up over time. Um, but the ones that I used um, on the shawl, um, you know, they seem fine after the first use, so I'm sure that they're going to hold up fine. Um, and then the other thing, too, is I just, for me personally, I don't know that I'm going to coil these back up with the twist ties and put them back into this bag since they are kind of under tension in that bag. What I did with the ones that I used for blocking my Glarus shawl is I kind of just folded them in half like this and then just kind of stuck them into the top of the tube that held my straight blocking wire. So, um, you know, but if you save the twist ties and you don't block a lot of shawls, like I'm blocking shawls typically multiple times a week. Um, so I'm personally not going to coil these back up. But if you're not blocking like a ton of shawls like I am, you might find you want to save the twist ties in order to sort of keep them all together in the bag. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm really excited about these. These were very cool and I'm glad that I was able um, to try them. Um, if you've tried flexible blocking wires or specifically the Lazarus blocking wires, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, you can hit that subscribe button. If you'd like, you can turn on notifications to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So that's it for me for today. And I'll be back next week with a new video. Have a great week, guys. Bye.